following is based on a true story. Veiled Darkness, the solitude of shadows on midnight roads. The night stretched out before me like an endless abyss, swallowing the road in its inky blackness. I gripped the steering wheel, my knuckles turning white as the headlights cut through the darkness, creating fleeting islands of visibility. The radio buzzed with static, the signal lost in the void, leaving me alone with the rhythmic hum of the engine and the haunting echoes of my own thoughts. I had always enjoyed the solitude of late-night drives, the empty roads, the mysterious shadows cast by the moon, and the eerie symphony of nocturnal creatures. However, this night was different. An unshakable sense of unease settled over me, a feeling that clung to the air like an invisible shroud. The desolate highway wound through dense woods, the trees looming over the road like silent sentinels. Their branches twisted and contorted, casting grotesque shadows that danced along the edges of my vision. As the miles passed, the woods seemed to close in, the darkness pressing against the car windows like a suffocating presence. I tried to shake off the growing unease, blaming it on fatigue or an overactive imagination. But my rationalizations faltered when I saw her, a figure standing on the side of the road. A hitchhiker, perhaps. My foot instinctively lifted off the gas pedal as I approached, the headlights revealing a young woman with disheveled hair and a tattered dress that seemed out of place in the chilly night. Against my better judgment, I pulled over, the crunch of gravel beneath the tires punctuating the eerie stillness. The woman approached with slow, deliberate steps, her eyes hidden in the shadows. As she neared, I hesitated, my hand hovering over the unlock button. Something about her felt off, a subtle wrongness that sent a shiver down my spine. Need a ride? I asked, the words hanging in the air like a secret. No response. She merely nodded, and without a word, she slid into the passenger seat. The air inside the car shifted, growing heavier as if an invisible presence had joined us. I swallowed hard, my eyes fixed on the road ahead, trying to ignore the unsettling feeling that now clung to the car's interior. I stole a glance at the woman, her face hidden in the shadows. Where are you headed? I asked, my voice cracking. No answer. She stared straight ahead, and the silence between us thickened. The only sounds were the low hum of the engine and the distant howls of a far-off creature in the woods. I could feel her gaze on me, though her eyes remained hidden in the darkness. Unease settled over me like a heavy fog, and I considered pulling over to let her out. But something held me back, an inexplicable force that urged me to keep driving. The road stretched endlessly before us, a monotonous path leading to an uncertain destination. As we continued, the woman's presence became more oppressive. I could feel her eyes on me, scrutinizing my every move. The car's interior grew colder, and my breath fogged up the windshield. Glancing at the rearview mirror, I caught a glimpse of her face, pale and featureless, like a spectral visage haunting the edges of reality. A sign loomed in the distance, announcing a town ahead. Relief washed over me as I considered dropping her off and escaping the suffocating atmosphere that clung to the car. But as we entered the town, I realized something was amiss. The streets were deserted, and the windows of the dilapidated building stared back at me like vacant eyes. I slowed down, the eerie stillness making my skin prickle. This is your stop, I mumbled, my voice barely audible. The woman remained silent unmoving. The car crept through the empty streets, the only sound the soft whisper of the wind. Panic clawed at the edges of my mind, urging me to escape this surreal nightmare. I pressed on the gas pedal, desperate to leave the haunting town behind. But the road seemed to stretch endlessly, the town refusing to release its grip. Shadows flickered at the edges of my vision, shapes that slithered through the darkness. I dared not look too closely fearing what twisted forms might materialize before me. As I approached the town's outskirts, a chilling realization settled over me. The woman was gone. The passenger seat sat empty, the oppressive presence lifted. Panic and confusion swirled in my mind as I scanned the desolate streets. Had she ever been there? Or was she a specter conjured by the night? 
I accelerated, the tire screeching against the asphalt as I fled the spectral town. The road ahead blurred into a nightmarish landscape, the trees contorting into grotesque shapes, and the shadows whispering secrets I dared not comprehend. The car's headlights flickered, casting erratic beams that danced like phantoms in the abyss. I felt a sudden weight in the air, a presence that eclipsed reason and sanity. The temperature inside the car plummeted, and my breath turned to frost. A soft voice, barely audible, whispered through the silence. Keep driving. The command echoed in my mind, and I obeyed without question. The road twisted and turned, leading me deeper into the heart of the night. The boundaries between reality and nightmare blurred, and I became a reluctant passenger in my own car. As the miles stretched on, the darkness seemed to solidify, pressing against the car from all sides. I glimpsed fleeting shapes in the rearview mirror, phantoms with hollow eyes and twisted smiles. Each time I dared to look, they drew closer, their ethereal fingers brushing against the windows. The road became a labyrinth, an ever-shifting maze that defied logic. I felt a growing dread as I realized there was no escape, no end to the nightmarish journey. The car's interior pulsed with an otherworldly energy, and I could sense unseen eyes watching from the shadows. I longed for dawn, for the first light that would banish the horrors that clung to the night. But the darkness held its grip, unyielding and malevolent. The whispers in the air grew louder, a cacophony of spectral voices that taunted and mocked. Hours passed, or perhaps an eternity. Time lost all meaning as I drove through the nightmarish landscape. The road twisted and turned in impossible ways, leading me in circles that defied reason. The car's headlights flickered, casting elongated shadows that danced on the periphery of my vision. And then, as if the universe itself recoiled in horror, the night shattered. The first rays of dawn crept over the horizon, dispelling the darkness that had held me captive. The spectral shapes retreated, their ghostly forms dissolving into the dissipating shadows. I found myself on a familiar stretch of road, the trees no longer contorted into grotesque shapes. The weight in the air lifted, and the temperature inside the car returned to normal. I slowed to a stop, my hands trembling as I realized the nightmare was over. I glanced at the passenger seat, half expecting to see the spectral woman once more. But it remained empty, a cold reminder of the otherworldly journey I had endured. As the first light of dawn bathed the world in a gentle glow, I took a shaky breath and vowed never to venture into the depths of the night again. The road ahead stretched toward an uncertain future, but the horrors of that night lingered in the recesses of my mind. I drove away, leaving the spectral town and its haunting secrets behind. The world outside the car seemed ordinary, but I knew that the night held mysteries that defied explanation. A realm where the boundaries between reality and nightmare blurred, and the darkness held secrets that whispered through the shadows. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with chills unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill-seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.